Welcome to HXGN Live TV. I'm Matt Langan, your host today, and today we have Georg Hammer, CTO of Hexagon Geospatial. Welcome, good to see you. We have Frank Seiken, CTO of Luciad, and both of these gentlemen were kind enough to join us today to share some more insights regarding Luciad combining with Hexagon Geospatial and how we are building a 5D smart digital reality. And we appreciate both of you all taking, taking the time today to, uh, to meet with us and discuss with us today. And obviously many of you out there saw that in October, Hexagon acquired Luciad. And now we have both CTOs here with us today. And let's start with Georg. Um, tell us a little more about how the acquisition actually strengthens Hexagon's ability to deliver smart digital realities. Sure, so if we look on what is the requirement for a, from a software point of view for a smart digital reality, you have on the one hand side all the needs of producing, managing data, so the traditional GIS remote sensing for the chemistry products, which we provide with Gmedia, Imagine, uh, and this type of products. And on the other hand, you have the situational awareness. And if we look on the origin of these two uh, companies, Hexagon Geospatial and Luciad, we are coming from this traditional data production, data uh, management side, and Luciad is coming from the situational awareness. So uh, we are taking this smart digital reality from two different sides, so it's a perfect synergy, which allows us to uh, bridge this divide. And um, besides this technology, uh, synergies, of course, it's also the team in Belgium, in Leuven. They are a team of super skilled, nice people, and we are having fun work together. Yes, yes, uh, indeed, indeed. And for Luciet, um, I knew the technology would be a good fit, but then Luciet was a 110 people company, becoming part of Hexagon, 18,000 people. Uh, it's hard to know what to expect, but we feel, uh, we feel very welcome very open culture, cooperative, so also on that, that aspect, uh, we're very happy to be part of Hexagon. That's excellent. You know, Frank, that's a perfect segue into my next question because obviously Luciad brings a lot to the table with the visualization technologies um, that ultimately result in a 5D digital reality. What exactly is 5D? So 5D is, uh, is kind of a concept and it's, uh, I would say it's all about change change that happened in the past, but also affecting change in the future. Uh, where you could say uh, 5D, one of the dimension, first dimension we would say is uh, what was describing a situation in the past. To give an example, uh, a map of bus routes in a city would be a description of that situation of what was. Uh, a second dimension would be what is. So what is happening right now? Um, where are the buses? Where are they? At the, how long do I still have to wait until the bus is at my bus stop? And that's what is that real-time part. That's, that's a part where Luciad, for instance, has been focusing on from the beginning, uh, and which is a, a good fit with, uh, with Hexagon Geospatial. So what was, what is, but then if you look to the future, we also want to see, okay, what could be? What, um, what could be a situation in the future? Talking about simulation, for instance, in the bus example, uh, should we add a uh, dedicated bus lane somewhere to make the traffic more efficient? So that's the what could be. <coughs> Fourth uh, element is what should be, is doing the optimization, doing the studies, doing, seeing what is the best solution for this and deciding on, okay, what, where, where is the best uh, place where we can do some changes in the bus lanes? And the final part is what will be is, in my view, the actual decision of, okay, what are we going to change? Mm. And one interesting thing there is that um, the, the changes in data that we see in the past are, uh, let's say, the pace of change is increasing. And at the same time, the pace of decision making is decreasing. So coming to closer to real time on, on, let's say, the what is side and then the what will be very close to real time as well, then you start talking about autonomous systems where immediately decisions are taken on these different sensor values. And when I heard that story, because it, one funny thing is that at Luciat we, we, we didn't talk about 5D. We've only been starting talking about 5D when we became closer to Hexagon, part of Hexagon. But when I heard that story on 5D and the 5D concept, 
I was like, okay, this, this is exactly where we fit in with the Luciat, with the Luciat platform. Yeah, it certainly seems to be the future and it's a great message, mm -hmm. I think, overall. Uh, Georg, tell us about some of the technical trends for geospatial products and platforms today. What's going mm -hmm. on out there? I think besides some typical buzzwords from all these technology trends, the biggest change to our industry is the huge amount of additional data. So there is this quote from NGA that in uh, five years there will be a million times more geospatial data available and that drives all our necessary, let's say, reactions or uh, investments. Because if you think on a million times more data uh, and your traditional processes would require a longer time to pre-process this data, then the data is useful because it's updated on an uh, annual day, on, a, on a, a regular daily base, you are in problems. By the way, this is a famous quote yeah. from the CTO yeah. from Luciat. I was just going to say, that's yeah. a very nice so quote. You, you, you have to go for a <laughs> real-time approach. You cannot pre-process the data any longer. Second big trend I see is, based on this huge amount of data, uh, you have to automate some of the processes because you cannot hire additional hundred thousands of expert analysts to check this data. So you have to automate. And the third point I want to mention is you have to look for advanced analytics. So this whole deep learning, machine learning, uh, artificial intelligence story. So the um, machines or the sensors at the end must be smart enough to identify which data I have to forward to an expert analyzer to make the next decision steps. Uh, otherwise, we, we cannot use this beautiful, updated daily data. So y y you talk about data, that's a great point, and it's moving really fast and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I imagine in your position as CTO of Hexagon Geospatial, you're continually moving and cranking and thinking of new innovations for not only keeping up with the market, but being ahead of the market. Correct. And one of these, I would say, innovations is that we are uh, in the combination of geospatial and lucid technology, we are able to access the data on the fly. That means we do not change their format, we do not have to pre-process them, we directly access them in real time. Uh, this ad advanced analytics, as I already mentioned, we already delivered some machine learning and deep learning operators to our spatial modeler environment, so people can build their models, how they want the computer to look at the data, and to make this available for all our customers and also for our partner channel, we integrated this into a uh, framework, into a platform called uh, Map Enterprise, where we also get uh, benefit from the Hexagon Group development, which is called Exalt. Very exciting stuff. So we inject also these technologies to offer an easy to configure, uh, easy to configure platform to our partners and customers. That's awesome, Frank. Tell us about the Luciat side. I know, I know we talked about 5D, but being in the C-suite as CTO, I'm sure you're always thinking near term and long term when it comes to innovation. What what do you see around the horizon? Um, I see a couple of things. Um, one thing I see is platforms where um, one single application that does everything for a lot of users is kind of changing to more dedicated um, apps, smart maps for, uh, for individual use cases. So and in terms of that platform uh, aspect, I think uh, on the Luciat side, we have a very strong development platform. Garrick mentioned the Map Enterprise, and that combination, I think, will uh, bring tremendous value to, uh, to the Hexagon, Hexagon customers and users. Next to platforms that we talked about, I see uh, cloud as a very strong uh, driver where um, a company like Lufthansa Systems um, has been using Luciat for uh, flight planning systems for different airlines and using a more traditional desktop uh, type of applications. Um, even they are moving to the cloud and doing their next version of their flight planning system, Lido 4D, with, um, with Luciat technology, but with our server and browser-based technology for very mission critical applications like that, uh, that flight planning system. So cloud is definitely something where um, we continue to invest. Continuous uh, innovation is, is kind of our motto. Um, and a final thing that I see is um, computation and data fusion moving closer to the sensors. 
It's edge computing that it's been talked about uh, and it will be talked about a lot here at the conference, I think. We see that as well, where we see Luciat software already being deployed on a drone or on an autonomous vehicle and the advanced analytics, for instance, that Georg mentioned is, is one of the key things that we will be investing on for that because if, if you do edge computing, um, visualization is not that important. The machine doesn't need to see something, it, but it needs to know what's happening and take, take those decisions where the analytics is extremely important. That's great, you know, uh, on our last uh, episode that we did here, we interviewed a customer and his, his title is Reality Capture Specialist. And I'm hearing smart reality. Reality, that message is coming out much more in the geospatial mm -hmm. arena. Is that because we're actually finally getting to the point where real-time access to data, you can access and understand and capture realities actually happening? Does that make sense? Is that where we're Absolutely. headed? Absolutely, so I think one, one component is data is available. Uh, and systems from hardware, software, sensors are able to process them in real time. That was not the case three mm. years ago. Mm. So I think it's the, the main driver. And we are riding this top of the edge. Yeah, I would say indeed. The, the capability to handle that big data, uh, the capability to bring that to a user visually in 3D in a dynamic experience, and that combination, in my view, is the, the smart, smart digital reality. That's excellent. Anything else to add today? Anything we may have missed? Waiting for a great show. Yeah, yeah, yes indeed. Frank, any last comments, parting shots here no, for I'm, us? I'm excited for the show, but also for the future of us being part of Hexagon and uh, realizing smart digital realities. It's excellent, what a perfect way to end this. And a big thank you to our guest, Georg Hammerer, CTO of Hexagon Geospatial, and Frank Seiken, CTO of Luciad. And for more information about today's topic, visit hexagongeospatial.com, and to watch additional episodes or learn more, please visit hxgnspotlight.com, and thank you for tuning in. <laughs>